This video is going to explain that in many ways each part of the universe is a microcosm of the whole universe. And it is going to do this not by explaining some form of New Age spirituality, but by physics. We have a great unity in physics and mathematics that in this theory represents everything being connected by one universal process of energy exchange. But for everything to be a microcosm, we need more than just everything being based on one universal process. What we would need is the holographic principle as part of this process. This is because in a hologram, the three dimensions of everyday life can be encoded on the two dimensions of the hologram. And when the hologram is broken, each part contains an image or a microcosm of the whole. This is possible and in these images we see a hologram formed by the geometry of two parabolic mirrors. In Einstein's relativity the curvature of space-time is represented by the negative curvature of hyperbolic geometry. In this theory we have a dynamic process that can use the holographic principle on the two-dimensional surface that is represented by the movement of positive and negative charge. We have positive and negative charge forming a dynamic two-dimensional boundary condition for the holographic principle to take place. This is not saying that the universe is a hologram. It is saying that the universe is a continuum relative to the atoms of the periodic table that uses the holographic principle over what we measure as a period of time, with the future continuously being based on the past. Within such a theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer, forming an interactive process relative to the atoms of the periodic table. Wave-particle duality is continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. It is because this theory uses the holographic principle that there is no need for the extra dimensions or parallel universes of string theory. In this theory, these extra dimensions are just future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe of continuous creation. We have one universal geometrical process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The three dimensions of everyday life are formed by this spherical geometry with negative and positive charge represented by the inner concave surface and the outer convex surface of the sphere. Nothing has greater organization or lower entropy than a sphere. Light photon energy from the sun cascades down, forming greater degrees of freedom for increasing entropy or disorganization. Within a process of symmetry forming and breaking, there is also the potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the complexity and diversity of cell life. In the geometry of this process, this is represented by there being an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere that in this theory represents an infinite number of possible timelines. This forms a potential infinity of possibilities for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the imperfect symmetry of cell life. The dynamics and spherical geometry of this process is used by cell life with each living cell forming the movement of positive and negative charge across the membrane of the cell. Life forms its own ripples in the geometry of space-time, forming its own evolutionary path as part of an interactive universal process. Each life form is at the forefront of creation as an integral part of this process 
and because this is a geometrical process, the timeline can be seen in the geometry of each intelligent life form, with line symmetry forming left and right handedness. We have a geometrical process of cause and effect, with each part at the forefront of creation, where everything has the potential to interact with the built-in uncertainty of probability at each branching point. The only way such a geometrical process could work in just three dimensions is by using the holographic principle with each part being a microcosm of the whole process. This geometry can be represented mathematically by just one equation with energy equals mass linked to the Lorenz contraction of space and time. The Lorenz contraction represents the time dilation of Einstein's theory of relativity, with energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a universal process of energy exchange or continuous creation. The C2 represents light radiating out in a sphere of electromagnetic radiation from its radius forming a square of probability. In quantum mechanics this process is represented by the quantum wave particle function expanding out as an inverse sphere. An intuitive way of thinking of an inverse sphere is that the energy source or even the observer is within the sphere looking out. This is logical because we are within the universe as part of this interactive process. This can be seen with both electromagnetism and gravity sharing the inverse square law. Within such a process gravity is a secondary force to electromagnetism and therefore unfolds at the speed of light. At the smallest scale of this process, the uncertainties and possibilities of everyday life are represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The momentum of the light will always be at right angles to the surface of the sphere, representing electromagnetic fields always being at right angles to each other. The holographic principle of the information of a three-dimensional process is unfolding in the form of the two-dimensional surface of the sphere with the movement of positive and negative charge. This is represented by the brackets in the equation representing a dynamic boundary condition of an individual reference frame with an arrow of time for each reference frame. The infinity symbol represents an infinite number of dynamic interactive reference frames that are continuously coming in and out of existence with each one in many ways being a microcosm of the whole. This process gives us free will. We are always in the centre of our own frame of reference in the moment of now with the potential to choose which external reference frame to interact with. Electromagnetism forms one interactive field that connects all things together. We have light photon oscillations or vibrations forming the movement of positive and negative charge with a continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. This universal process is unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table and forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we measure as a period of time. The atoms of the periodic table are forming standing waves in time with the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy forming the passage of time. Water is a good example of this with the atoms forming dipole moments relative to the distribution of positive and negative charge. The interactive nature of this process can be seen 
with the atoms bonding and breaking with the exchange of photon energy. Just a change in environmental temperature can lead to the atoms bonding together, forming complexity. This can be seen here in infinite snowflake diversity. We can think of this as a process of symmetry forming and breaking, and when the symmetry is broken, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. At high temperatures, the atoms break up, but the same universal process continues over much larger areas in the form of plasma, with charge being able to cover a large area of interstellar space. Therefore we see the symmetry of the same geometrical shapes in deep space as we see in nature. This theory explains a greater reality of one creative principle behind the laws of physics forming something like a sounding board of a musical instrument that resonates with the vibrations of the energy and momentum of one's own actions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.